Hello friends, it's Ashton here with Incense again. Today we're going to be taking a look at another fragrance from the TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Burlington Coat Factory, whatever, discounter store series that we've got going. This is one I found at Ross's for $17.99 and it is Perry Ellis by Perry Ellis. We'll go ahead and check out the presentation. Uh, this actually came with a freebie which is a Perry Ellis deodorant stick. So that's kind of cool. It actually smells okay. And after we check out the presentation, we'll get into the fragrance itself. All right, let's go ahead and check out the presentation for Perry Ellis by Perry Ellis. The bottle is actually really cool. It's got kind of a metal case that encases the glass and the glass here is see-through. So you can see the, the liquid in there, which is really neat. You can pick it up by the cap, which is nice. The atomizer is also pretty good. Nothing doing on the back other than just the porthole here. On the bottom, you've got the sticker with your usual information and badge code. It's actually a really nice presentation overall. It's unique, kind of sets it apart. This little deodorant stick came with for free. It's a deodorant stick. I mean, it's, it is what it is. You just screw off the top, boom deodorant stick. It smells pretty nice. It's usable. And this is the box that this came in. You'll see they're advertising that sick deodorant stick. Um, not too much going on. Just says free deodorant stick with the purchase of a 1.7 fluid ounce eau de toilette spray. $16 value. Get good value at Rossman. Good value. Perry Ellis on the top and on the bottom usual information, ingredients, and batch code. Um, overall who cares about the box, but the bottle is pretty nice. If you're familiar with this scent, then you'll know that this is mainly regarded as a clone of this scent, Blue de Chanel. One of the most popular and versatile men's fragrances on the market. But being that it's a Chanel, it's pretty expensive. So this is the cheaper alternative or one of the cheaper alternatives for Blue de Chanel. This doesn't have grapefruit, it has bitter orange, and the first five to 10 minutes, the bitter orange is bitter. It's kind of astringent almost when you smell it, and it like tickles the back of your throat, not in a good way. Um, but that does die down pretty quickly, and that's a good thing, because that's not really the most pleasant scent. As this dries down though, it does start to smell more similar to Blue de Chanel. There's a really good similarity there. It's lacking the incense from Blue de Chanel, and it also doesn't really have too much of a base. This is mainly citrus, um, that orange, with a little bit of cardamom and some light cedar, some light mint, um, a little bit of light fir, things like that. And, and all those base notes, they are light. It's not a bad scent. It's versatile, just like Blue de Chanel, and it's a crowd pleaser, just like Blue de Chanel. The thing is, is with the name like Perry Ellis, a lot of people will write it off uh, right away because most of their scents are bargain bin scents. So they don't really get very much respect unless you're talking about 360 Red or um, Oud Black Vanilla Absolute. Uh, anything else, you know, gets talked down on. Another fragrance that people will talk about a lot as a Blue de Chanel clone is our Moth Tag Hymn. Um, honestly, if I had to pick between these two, I prefer Perry Ellis. I know that our Moth uh, Tag Hymn gets tons of love online. If you look on Fragrantica, the love meter is huge, the dislike meter is very small. But um, I really don't think it's as good as Perry Ellis. It's harsher. Um, the opening doesn't smell as nice, and the dry down is also not as smooth as the Perry Ellis uh, by Perry Ellis is. Obviously, of these three, Blue de Chanel is the best. Um, it's not terribly close. If you can afford Blue de Chanel, just go ahead and get it. But if you really like Blue de Chanel, and you would like to wear something similar, and not have to worry about replacing it or the price, then Perry Ellis is a great choice. The longevity is about average. Um, performance, sillage, also about average. 
depending on skin chemistry, time of year, and whether you spray it on clothes or not. Uh, it, it works pretty much in all circumstances that Blue de Chanel would. So that means that it's typically better for spring and summer, but if you want to wear it in fall and winter, you can get away with it. Just wanted to go ahead and bring this one to your guys' attention. I've seen it a few times at Ross bundled with the deodorant stick like this one was. I've also seen original Penguin Rocks bundled with a deodorant stick. I think some of the cheaper fragrances, they do that to give you a little more value. Um, this one is fresh, clean, and versatile. Um, like I said, really nice for spring and summer. It's lacking a lot of the base notes from Blue de Chanel, also lacking the incense, and they swapped out grapefruit for bitter orange, also not any ginger and periellus, and yet the vibe is still really similar. That first 10 minutes is not the greatest thing. If you, you know, smell it really closely, it is a little astringent, but once the dry down begins, um, the similarities to Blue de Chanel do come out, and you can tell that they're going for the same kind of vibe, the same kind of scent. Um, if this sounds like something that you would be into, under $20, I think, is a good deal. Um, it's something that you can reach for, you know, spray, and not have to worry about. Whereas Blue de Chanel, especially if you're on a budget, you might not really want to go too crazy on that because it's pretty hard to find Chanel uh, at a discount. It seems like it's pretty much MSRP everywhere you look. So, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.